hello everyone today we are going to see about anatomy and functions of eye so what is eye eye is the photoreceptor organ that is uh, when a light passes or when a light uh, receives our uh, body the only organ which has the photoreceptor is our eye through that only we are maintaining or we are controlling our vision for the vision there are many structures are present we'll see one by one so now let's begin with anatomy of the eye so eye is a photoreceptor organ and uh, it is spherical in shape and the diameter would be 2.5 cm location of the eye the eye is situated in the orbit of the skull if you see the skull there will be two orbits present in right and left side of the skull in those two orbits two eyes will fit and it is supplied by optic nerve so the optic nerve connects the eyeballs to the nervous system there are six muscles are present in our eye to control the movement of the eyeball in that four muscles are present for the superior then inferior then uh, lateral uh, side movements of the eye while two oblique muscles are present for oblique rotation so totally there are six muscles are present for the movement of eye both of our eyes are separated and both are supplied by different nerves and both are supplied by different blood vessels however they function as a pair so that only we are getting a clear vision so it is one of the important point to note next we will see about the anatomy of the eye anatomy of eye can be divided into three parts the outer fibrous layer then the middle vascular layer then the inner layer the outer layer is consist of three parts that is sclera then cornea then conjunctiva then the middle uh, vascular layer is uh, consisting of uh, iris ciliary body then choroid then the inner layer contains only one part which is a essential part for vision that is retina we will see this one by one first the outer layer uh, the sclera cornea and then the conjunctiva all are providing protection as we all know the outer layer means it's the protective structure uh, like the skin like the skin of our body skin is the outermost layer of our body which provides protection to us so like that the three layers sclera cornea conjunctiva provides protection to our eye and uh, especially the cornea it it does not have blood vessels it is a avascular structure which means there will be no blood vessels are available then how it works without uh, oxygen how it works because it receives oxygen from some other way uh, it receives oxygen directly from the external environment rather than getting the blood uh, getting the oxygen from blood through blood vessels it gets oxygen directly from air through blinking while blinking the external air touches the cornea through which the oxygen present in the air gets transferred to the cornea where it will get the oxygen then to the scleral layer the muscles are connected so that only we are moving our eyes to the left side right side superiorly inferiorly and uh, oblique positions like each and every position we can rotate because of the muscles and those muscles are present directly to the scleral layer so overall the outer layer provides protection as well as uh, the muscles are connected and uh, it is also uh, responsible for the shape of our eye next second one is middle vascular layer the first one is ciliary body uh, it provides uh, relaxation and constriction of the muscles thereby it is uh, altering the shape of the lens like the like we are using the camera right in that there will be background defocus option will be there in that the closest object will be focused and the background will be defocused for this relaxation and constriction will be happening in our body in our eye for that uh, ciliary bodies are responsible by by providing contraction and relaxation by doing contraction and relaxation it provides uh, shaping of the lens which will help in focusing the nearest objects or uh, defocusing the nearest object then choroid this choroid structures provides nutrition to us and as well as it uh, prevents the reflection of the light in order to get vision the light should not get reflected so for that uh, the choroid helps uh, prevent the reflection of the light and uh, it also provides uh, nutrition next iris the pigment present in the iris gives the color of our eyes or pupil uh, each of our pupil will be vary but mostly we have uh, black color but some of us also have brown color or blue color why because of the pigment present in the iris 
so iris is responsible for the color of eye and also iris controls the size of the pupil so thereby it uh, it controlling the amount of light entering the eye next the third inner layer that is retina in retina there will be two type of cells are present one is rod cells then the second one is cone cells these rod cells are responsible for the black and white color uh, so it is mainly involves in uh, night vision in the night vision almost the vision is called rod vision because only the rod cells will be active that time while the cone cells are responsible for uh, vision of different colors like the red blue green yellow violet those all colors will be will be directly ge we are getting from cone cells so cone cells are responsible for uh, day vision so cone cells are involved in day vision while rod cells are involved in uh, night vision and our retinal layer contains 125 millions of rod cells and 7 millions of cone cells this is why the reason uh, as the day passes we are losing the vision of getting different colors so these rods and cones are responsible for the color vision and uh, these are provided by the optic nerve so in summary the anatomy of eye is divided into three layers the outer uh, fibrous layer which consists of sclera cornea then conjunctiva and uh, second layer is middle vascular layer which is made up of uh, three structures that is iris ciliary body and choroid then the last one is uh, or the third one is inner retinal layer yeah, and it is also known as uh, neural layer so there will be one structure only present that is retina but in retina there will be two type of cells will be present rods and cones which help in uh, getting our vision these retinal layers are uh, connected to optic nerves which supplies uh, whatever the light or whatever the vision we are getting uh, it transfers to the i mean the optic uh, nerve transfers the vision to brain for sensing like uh, whatever we are sensing or whatever we are seeing like some vehicle is uh, coming nearby or some object is there whatever we are seeing it all sensed by brain uh, with the help of optic nerve the optic nerve is getting those uh, images from the help of rods and cones present in the third uh, neural layer or uh, retina and for the record uh, whatever we are seeing nothing is having a color everything is just uh, the light uh, if a substance is red color which means that it absorbed light and emitted red color but it is not actually red color that is why in the night time we are seeing only the black and white so no object or nothing is have any color it all because of absorption and emission of light so this is all about the anatomy of the eye and i hope you guys like this video and if you have any questions or comments you can mention it in the comment box or you can directly send a mail i will see you guys in the next video and then bye from asant